crazy. I, I've always had a passion for sneakers, but I couldn't afford them. With the customs, hit up Andrew. I don't even know how to explain like what he does. And then he DM me one day and he's like, hey, we should work together. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> I'm a 90s baby, so I'm gonna go from different cartoons and see how it pops. It's been amazing to see what we've been able to achieve this far and in the season. It's somebody that cares about their shoes and also loves the artwork. The game plan is I'm gonna rock these shoes at Mass Square Garden. Knowing the amount of work that had to go into this pair to make it happen, and also the meaning behind it, it's going to be a one-of-a-kind experience. Just waiting for my man Andrew to come through and then hook me up with my pair of shoes for the game. It's the first time I'm seeing it. It's something special for New York game. <laughs> So this is LG Kicks, Sneaker Palace. This is where it all goes down at. Come on in. This is it. It's always like a new adventure when I come in here now. It's a lot of hard work in here. The Soul Flies, the Lil Wayne vs. Drake. That's when they had the tour going on. I think they were like $300, but reselling it, I mean, it was a good, good amount of money. This is the pair that I got when I was in college. These are the He Got Games. As you can see, I wear my kicks. Shoes, I started my whole collection. These are my favorite pair of shoes right here. Favorite pair of Jordans. Langston Galloway, I play for Detroit Pistons. And we're here to talk about kicks and, and show you my, my whole city of Baton Rouge. I've been a journeyman in, in the NBA, going from undrafted, getting picked up by Westchester Knicks, to getting called up by the Knicks. Went on to the Pelicans, got traded. Went from there to Sacramento, and then now I'm in Detroit. Been in Detroit the last two years. Been a whirlwind, but enjoying the journey. Growing up in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, real small city, but at the same time, small city kids have big dreams. And I've always like dreamed of making it to the NBA and making it out of the city. The thing that drew me into basketball was just watching on, on TV, watching guys like Allen Iverson, Chauncey Billups, I mean, Michael Jordan. It's crazy. I've always had a passion for sneakers, but I couldn't afford them. I would always look in the magazines, like the Slam magazines, the East Bay magazines. It kind of just drew me in. I, I think I have 600, 700 pairs. It's the story behind each one of the shoes and how I got it. I rocked these when I was a kid, and everybody thought I had boots on. These are the original PlayStations. Kind of creased a little bit. Hey, you wear your kicks. For me, it's all about the stories behind it. That's what like kind of drives me to keep like getting the kicks and. It means that much more to me. This is probably like my, my number one in my whole collection. So these are the Stewie Griffins. These are like really hard to come by. And so if you ever seen Family Guy, this is like the shoe that like Stewie always was wearing. This is probably the rarest of the rare. I haven't seen anybody else. This is probably a resale for about 15,000, I'd probably say, yeah. But I don't think this is ever coming off my hands. Coming out of college, I wasn't on any radars. I wasn't prospected to go to the NBA. I was on the outside looking in, basically. Being in, in the D League, just looking back on guys, being there one minute, the next minute they just quitting from the team. But I was like, there's no way this is what it, what it should be. And um, I just, I'm gonna make this work. That's what I did. I just went out there every single night, just competed hard, and I had opportunity to get called up. Knicks were the first team to call me, and all right, I'm ready. Once I got the call up, then, I mean, the shoes were coming in left and right. We we're going from one scenario where you have Edie looking at a magazine, and all of a sudden, the shoe is sitting right here. It's, uh, it's, it's a great feeling. I'm doing something right. 
So let me just continue to do what I'm doing. My man Andrew, he really took care of me. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what he had in store for me. This is the shoes I'll be wearing them all for the game. With the customs, it kind of started on my first year, actually my first year in the, in the NBA with the Knicks. Got in contact with uh, Mosh. He's like the biggest well-known customizer in the world. This is the pair that he did for me for my Nick days. I don't even think I've touched these. This for my Pelican days. Mosh told me, he's like, hey, look, I'm gonna take a break from the NBA. So he ended up hooking me up with Andrew. We've been just rolling. We were rolling ever since. And I mean, this season has been unbelievable. The first time I linked up with Langston, probably at the end of, I want to say last season, and then he DM'd me one day and he's like, hey, we should work together. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> and then I realized, like, you're really a collector collector. And that was a relief because it's somebody that cares about their shoes and also loves the artwork. As far as players that I've worked with in the NBA, Kyrie, Kobe, Solomon Hill, Drew Holiday, James Harden, to name a few. So this is the setup and all this glamour. Airbrushes, you got your heat gun, your hair dryer, all the Angelus paints up there. Simple setup, but gets the job done. I started looking at a sneaker, seeing I can work on this in high school. And that's kind of what drove me into learning how to restore my shoes and paint the shoes, which segued into learning how to customize. It's just been amazing to see like the process and what we've been able to achieve this far in, uh, in the season. Some fan favorites that me and Andrew have hooked up on Toy Stories. Those are probably like the most popular, the Terminators. Everything from a Scooby-Doo pair to his Christmas shoe, which was the Grinch, both the Jim Carrey Grinch and the new Grinch. One of my favorite cartoons growing up definitely was Hey Arnold. So we had to do the Hey Arnold pair. For Halloween, we did the Chucky pair. Born in 1991, like I'm a 90s baby, so there's so many cartoons, so many movies that came out during that era. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go from different cartoons and see how it, how it pops. We've done The Proud Family, and we did The Cat Dogs. You gotta give me a shout out, Nickelodeon Cartoon Network. That's all I know. The Toy Story pair, which is kind of the pair that everybody loved. One of my Toy Story shoes, they blew up so much, they actually called one of our PR guys and for, for the Detroit Pistons, like, hey, look, we want to retire your shoe. And I'm like, what? Retire your shoe? He's like, yeah, they, they want to take your shoes and, and like put them in the Hall of Fame and you won't see them again. It's pretty cool to see like the hard work that Andrews put into the shoes and then also my hard work on the court, getting some, some recognition. The game plan is for these three pairs of shoes. I'm going to rock at least one of them for the New York game in February uh, at, at Madison Square Garden. Andrew, what's up, what you, you in the lab right now, C cooking up something? Yeah, working on a pair of right now. What are we thinking? Because we got, we got to come out with some heat for sure. It's got to be something fire. Yeah. And it, and it is going to be Black History Month too, so it might be a perfect time to bring out the Langston Hughes so they can like, have like the yeah, faces on it too. That might be the go-to. And then kind of do it like Mount Rushmore. Hmm, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I, could, I could probably squeeze three on each side, so six people. Six people. I don't know if you want to do something bright, too. I'm telling you, every time we do something bright, it catches everybody's <laughs> eyes. So we could do one side could be like Langston Hughes, Malcolm X, and then I'm going to think of one more name. But then on the other side, we could do like the Nick Great. That's giving a, a nod to the legend. My New York connections. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get some pictures, and then I'm going to send it to you, and then we can figure out the rest, make sure it's all good. Yeah, that works. All right, cool, cool. All right. All right, bro. That's the process. Look forward to it. Look forward to seeing the shoes once uh, Andrew puts, puts the work in. So it should be cool. These are the shoes that we're going to be working on for Lang. It's going to pay homage to Black History Month, as well as Langston getting his start in the NBA with the New York Knicks. 
This shoe is going to have Jackie Robinson, Langston Hughes, and then Malcolm X on it. This shoe and the pair, we're gonna have the tribute to the New York Knicks. So we're gonna have Patrick Ewing, Clyde Frazier, and then Spike Lee on this pair. That's gonna be the design. got the fade done. We've, we're at it for about four hours now. And what we're gonna do is pull up the stencil. We're what, six hours into it? We've kind of got Malcolm X going, a little bit of Jackie Robinson, haven't hit Langston Hughes yet. Hopefully we'll be done here within the next, I would say maybe two, three hours. Now it's time to move on to the New York reference pair. I lost track, to be honest, of how many hours I'm at now. Working time, probably eight or nine. Knowing the amount of work that had to go into this pair to make it happen, and also the meaning behind it, it's gonna be a one-of-a-kind experience. Coming back to New York is definitely a homecoming for me, where I got my start at. It's homecoming. Facts. But at the same time, it's an opportunity for me to go out there and prove myself. Just, hey, bright lights is on. That's how I'm at my best, so I'm excited. Now we're in the locker room, getting ready for the Knicks game. Just waiting for my man Andrew to come through and then uh, hook me up with my pair of shoes for the game. I gotta, gotta get ready for the game. Hello? Drew, what up? Hey, what's up, man? Nothing much, man. You gotta come through, man. Where you at? Uh, just got to the garden, man. All right, bet. I haven't seen him yet, so I'm excited to see what, uh, what he has in store for me. So we're at Madison Square Garden here in New York City. We're dropping off a pair of shoes to Langston Galloway for tonight's game against the Knicks. As many shoes as I make never gets old. And doing it here, Madison Square Garden, legendary arena, you can't beat that. It's a moment that'll always stick with me, for sure. Hey, what up, bro? Yo, hey. what's here, bro? How you doing? You good? Good, good, good to good. see you, bro. Good Everything to see good? You. Yeah. yeah, good, good, good. Uh-oh, my your man. Delivery. You got the delivery, special yeah. delivery, man. This is the first time seeing it, so I'm excited. This is something special for New York game. Sheesh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang, this is dope. We tried to do like a little bit of Black History Month, and we did a little bit like a Knicks Legends as well, so a little bit of both on there. So we tried to put like Clyde, little like sayings on it, inside. My oh, man. <laughs> Take care, of you, man. Can't wait to see him in action. Huh? Cool, cool. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lace him up and get him ready to go. All right, here we go. Cool, cool. Man, I appreciate you coming through, bro. Hey, for oh, sure. Man. There we go. Get you going. Oh, Out yeah. <laughs> here. 
being Mr. Undrafted. It's daily, daily grind. It's something that I'll always know that's on my, on my tag. It's something that is always gonna stick with me, so I never forget that. It's something that I enjoy and I embrace. It's something that being a journeyman in this league is, is all about. That's, that's my life. I've always been under, underrated. It just means that much more to me.